die. I love a parade. When I first moved to New York, I had just been found by my biological mother, and I was feeling like deeply alone and I decided to go to the theater and as the lights went down I was spinning in the confusion of my biological mother having just crashed into my life and wondering how I was going to survive this and out walks this woman using comedy as a medium to share a really painful vulnerable story about who she was and why she was on earth and I thought oh my god I was thinking why am I alive why do I exist I came home and I called Karen Tron on the phone. So we met immediately. We met five minutes after the phone call, basically. And, um, I, you know, I, I fell in love with her. She gave me the gift of my life purpose. Even though at the time I felt I really didn't have the time to work, I couldn't help it. I had to work with her. At first it came out in stand-up comedy. I found out I was adopted. And that's why you think I'm Jewish. <laughs> well, I'm not! Okay? I'm Greek! And then I made it into a puppet show. I just spoke to my biological parents. <laughs> which became my identity. I have blown up my actual adoption certificate. And then became an existential crisis. I find myself walking through the streets of Chelsea screaming, God, why? And now I've developed it into a multimedia off-Broadway show that tells the larger story of all the shenanigans, the mythological, the pathological, the hysterical, and the painfully truthful comedy that is my life. Something happened when my bio found me. Let's celebrate. It's all right. Come on, girl, it's all right. Come and see Mommy Sue. She opens the door. And there she is, my biological mother. She's beautiful. She looks like Carol Burnett, but with the black afro. Even though I wasn't nurtured by her, I am her. We both scream the same way. I realize that I am totally, irrevocably, and epically in love. Yet, we can't really connect. There's no real relationship. I wish I had been there. I love their closeness and their fun. What do you think you get when you get an Amish family and a Greek family? Well, you get an obsessive compulsive, allergy-ridden worrier who moves to New York City and sleeps with a blankie. And girl, I'm Martin. I'm so happy over here. I'm Martin around this house like it's nobody's business.